Okay, so those who follow my channel know that uh, I love photography. So I'm in Berlin. I'm going to head out on the street with my uh, trusty old Leica M9 with a 40mm Voigtlander lens. I'll tell you a bit more about the camera and about photography and how I view it in a moment. So let's talk a little bit about uh, the camera. My uh, camera of choice has always been uh, Leica. I've owned a few of them uh, over the years, some film Leicas like the uh, Leica M3, uh, a Leica M8 was my first uh, digital range finder. Uh, I still own a Leica Deluxe, uh, I think it's a Deluxe 3. I've owned a Deluxe 5 and an X1, but uh, the camera that I love shooting with most is this Lenny Kravitz uh, Leica M9 and on there I have a 40mm uh, Voigtlander lens. It's an absolutely magnificent uh, camera and uh, for those of you who know anything about uh, range finders, um, they're just fantastic to use, uh, the way in which they focus uh, very, very quick on uh, the street. You can catch photographs very quickly um, and you can do zone focusing just by setting your, uh, your focal distance. So this lens, uh, the 40mm uh, Voigtlander uh, lens, uh, 1.4, uh, to uh, f16 is a is a probably my my favorite lens I have another one uh, uh, I think it's a, a, a 1.1 1 .1, uh, 50 mil knocked on uh, but it's just too heavy what I love about the Leica camera system is uh, that it's it's so small uh, you can carry this with you anywhere it's solidly built you can see the brass coming through on my uh, M9 and uh, it's an absolutely fantastic camera to shoot with uh, literally just bring it up to your eye, uh, focus and press the shutter and go. So uh, let's head out uh, onto the street. Uh, I'm uh, just near the Spree, um, quite uh, close to the Pergamon Museum here in Berlin and we're going to head out. By the way, uh, if you've noticed on the wall behind me here, uh, these are actual bullet holes from the Second World War here at the Humboldt University guest house which uh, were never repaired so <laughs> a pretty historic uh, place to be in. Okay let's head out on the street and we'll see what photographs we can capture. beautiful space uh, in which to photograph. Uh, it's called the Beach of Berlin and you'll see why in just a moment people come and hang out here. Uh, it's right near to these very beautiful historical buildings and then of course uh, the newer architecture as well. But lots and lots of people and things to see and photograph in this area so street photographers dream. Okay, so down there is the beach of Berlin. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so uh, many street photographers will tell you sometimes getting the perfect photo means patience. So uh, if you look behind me here, I have an idea that uh, the line of the TV tower that we see behind us here would make uh, quite a nice contrast with someone uh, either walking or cycling in this direction. But as you can see, no one's 
coming. And I don't want to get the backs of people. Uh, so we'll wait for a little while and see who comes from the front and let's see if we can make this photograph with the TV tower in the background. Perfect. A little bit of patience and uh, you get the photo. So just to say what I tend to do with uh, my Leica, it shoots both uh, RAW and JPEG. So I normally have uh, the JPEG set to uh, black and white, uh, medium to high contrast, but then I also uh, save uh, a RAW version of every photograph so that if it uh, looks good in color, I can always uh, get the RAW version in uh, Photoshop. And uh, yeah, that's more or less how I like to try and shoot. Can I take your picture? May I? Thank you. Okay, the light may be a little bit harsh. I'm standing right into the sunlight, but behind me here is uh, the uh, Humboldt University Faculty of Theology, and that's why I'm in Berlin. Uh, working on a research project and uh, I came to speak at uh, two conferences and participate in the G20 meetings in Potsdam uh, and uh, also to do a public lecture at the University of Bamberg which uh, took place last week. So this week it's just finalizing the, the uh, details for my research project and uh, speaking at one more conference and then on Thursday night back to Cape Town. It's been wonderful uh, to be here. I've enjoyed it a great deal. So let's get a photograph of uh, the Humboldt University. Going to find a focus, open it up. Got it. Precisely why I carry a Leica because I don't want to have to carry all of that camera gear. Can I take your picture? Why? Just, you're a beautiful person. Beautiful, thank you. Almost 
back where we started. Uh, you can see the museum behind me there and the bridge uh, where we started this afternoon. Um, yeah, I think we managed to catch a couple of few interesting shots along the way and missed a few. Um, it's always a bit of a, a challenge juggling starting the GoPro and uh, focusing and getting the shots but uh, I think we've got a few interesting shots and uh, we'll try and weave them together in a narrative. Just for those who are wondering how I managed to do it, you'll see that I mount the GoPro uh, onto the hot shoe of uh, my camera and uh, yeah, the moment that uh, I need to uh, I need to take a, a shot, I just uh, yeah, I just press the button on top of the GoPro and uh, we get it to uh, to take the picture. Let's see if we can get this in frame. There we go. We'll see if that one comes out. So thanks for watching. Um, I'd love to hear your ideas. Uh, love to hear what you think about the photographs. Uh, and uh, perhaps what uh, what you do with your photography maybe you're a landscape photographer or port portrait photographer and uh, yeah any advice you've got uh, for taking better photographs I'd love to hear it thanks for coming with me on today's trip through uh, the streets of Berlin on a beautiful beautiful sunny afternoon 17th of June 2017 uh, you can hook up with me via social media at Digital Dion on Twitter and Instagram uh, or on YouTube, uh, just look for Dion Foster or my website DionFoster.com. So thanks for watching.